Good evening. Good evening, Father. All very welcome now to our healing Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Our Lady continues to tell us that my son is your only means to peace. The world will tell us something differently. She's saying, my son is your means to peace and to heaven. Only through him is the way to heaven. Yet the world that we live in, the media, will tell you everything else, but it won't tell you how to have deep peace that will lead you to heaven. Is there any ad on TV that speaks about this is the way to heaven? This is why we're here tonight. We all need the grace from our Lord Jesus. She says again, my son is your means and your way to heaven. We ask now again the Lord to remove all the distractions and all the anxiety and the fear from our minds. Most of us were baptized as little babies. Somebody else said the words for us, but tonight we'll renew our baptismal promises. Do you reject Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty promises? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Christ has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit and forgiven our sins. May he also keep us faithful to our Lord Jesus Christ forever and ever.
Let us pray. O oh God, who with untold mercy were pleased to choose as an apostle Saint Matthew, the tax collector, grant that sustained by his example and intercession, we may merit to hold firm in following you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Please be seated now for the readings. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received. With all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace, one body and one spirit, as you were also called to the one hope of your call. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. But grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. And he gave some as apostles, others as prophets, others as evangelists, others as pastors and teachers, to equip the holy ones for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of faith and knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood, to the extent of the full nature of Christ. The word of the Lord. Their message goes out throughout the earth. Their message goes out through all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day pours out the word to day and night to night imparts knowledge. Their message goes out through all the earth. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds and to the ends of the earth their message. Their message goes out through all the earth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. you a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew as Jesus passed by he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the custom post he said to him follow me and he got up and followed him while he was at table in his house Many tax collectors and sinners came and sat with Jesus and his disciples. The Pharisees saw this and said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? He heard this and said, Those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. 
Go and learn the meaning of the words, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Good afternoon again. Those words towards the end of the Gospel, go and learn the meaning of the words. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. The first thing to note is that it means that God desires something more than just mercy. God desires kindness, goodness, loyalty. He desires love. Paul in 1 Corinthians says, if we have all the faith so as to move mountains but do not have love, we are nothing. If we give away all our possessions and if we hand our bodies over so that we may boast but do not have love, it says we gain nothing. It says love is mercy, it's kindness, always comes first. Now, there's a story about a woman she went to Muhammad Gandhi. He was, of course, a beloved, influential Indian and taught the word. One day a mother in India approached him and asked him if he would talk to her son about the importance of eating right, cutting out all the junk food, or even giving up eating sweets. He agreed to talk to her son about this, and she went away pleased, but several weeks passed by, and he still had not talked to her son, so she became frustrated and approached Gandhi and again asked him, why have you not spoken to my son? He said that he is still intended to talk to her son, but that he was having a hard time giving up sweets than he expected. She was a little puzzled by his answer for a moment and didn't realize Gandhi could not and would not ask someone else to do something that he could not do himself. I think that something similar is true of God and he's asking us for our love, for ourselves. The steadfast love of mercy, God is only asking us for what God has already given us. Go and learn the meaning, I desire mercy not sacrifice. How do we have that? What are we speaking about? You know, the head and the heart, we say that's the longest road from your head to your heart. If somebody who was not very well dressed and came up to you looking for something, you'd be very quick to give them a dollar to get rid of them. But if you were to approach it with your heart, maybe you would approach them a little different. You see, people who are troubled, and there's many today troubled, we sometimes call it mental illness, They don't really want your money. What do they want from you most times? Do you know? They want your time, they want your attention. 
That's what they want. And you know something? That's not easy to give. Because they're not speaking the way you'd like them to speak. They're not saying what you would like them to say. But do you know, they know if you're listening to them or not. They're not asking you to agree with them. All they're asking for that you listen to them. Very interesting. In the Divine Mercy Chaplet, St. Faustina ask for God's mercy. God wants us to approach him in prayer, constantly repeating of our sins and asking him to pour the mercy upon us. And then he asks us in turn to be merciful to others. God wants us to receive his mercy and then he expects it to flow through us to others. He wants us to extend the love and forgiveness to others as he does with us. And then the third part of it is complete trust in Jesus. God wants us to know that the grace of his mercy are dependent upon our trust. The more we trust in Jesus, the more we will receive. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. So what am I saying? Ask for God's mercy. Be merciful to others and completely trust in Jesus. That's not easy. We're here tonight. Each one in this church tonight has difficulties, has crosses, has intentions that you would like an answer to. That's the human race. I said at the beginning of Mass, you see, again, we're living in a time where some of the stuff that's coming up at the moment, you wouldn't dream it up. Literally wouldn't dream it up. Satan doesn't mind confusing you. He'll spin anything that will keep you from God. Anything. But Our Lady is constantly trying to tell us, my son is your only means to heaven. Tonight, you're going to receive Jesus into your souls. Ask him tonight to heal you from the inside out. Heal you of the anxiety, the confusion, the doubts to give you his mercy first and then to be able to show it to others and to have that trust in him. Later on, there's only one that heals, you know, and we stay behind him, that's Jesus Christ. And tonight, Jesus will walk through this church. And often when I walk through with the monstrance, the white host, I often think about that woman who said, if I could just touch the hem of his garments, I would be cured. But each one of us is going to receive him into our souls. She only wanted to touch him from the outside. We're going to touch him from the inside. As he walks around here tonight, he alone knows your needs. And then after, we'll do what we've been doing for over 25 years. We're going to pray over each one individually. 
All you have to do is sit where you are, but leave one pew in between so that we can pray as we go through easy. Again tonight, the prayer is, Lord, heal me from the inside out. Amen. Let us now bring our prayers before Almighty God, asking him to hear them and to answer them according to our needs. For the Holy Father, may God preserve his help and empower him to lead his people with joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For leaders of peoples and nations, may God guide them in serving their people as Christ came to serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear for those who suffer trials of any kind, may Jesus sustain them and grant them hope. Let us pray to the Lord. For our faith community, may the Holy Spirit enable us to recognize our gifts and willingly serve the family of God. Let us pray to the Lord. For our beloved dead, may they follow him in life. May Jesus lead them to his Father in glory. Let us pray to the Lord. We also know tonight this Holy Mass is offered up for all your intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. We just pause now for a moment in the silence of your own hearts. Heavenly Father, you know the needs and the hearts of each one present here this evening. We bring all our prayers before you through the intercession of St. Joseph, the Blessed Mother, St. Matthew, as we say the Hail Mary together. Hail, Hail Mary, Mary, full, full of, of grace, grace, the Lord, Lord is with thee. thee. Blessed, blessed art thou among women, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God. Pray, Pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. There will be a collection. Thank you. Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we celebrate anew the memory of Saint Matthew, we bring you sacrifices and prayers, O Lord, humbly imploring you to look kindly on your church whose faith you have nourished by the preaching of the apostles through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, 
always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for your eternal shepherd, you do not desert your flock, but through the blessing, blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your son. And so with the angels, the archangels, with the thrones, the dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. come to the most sacred part of the Mass, the Eucharistic prayer. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Edgar, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. is Jesus, the risen Lord, the healer. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. May the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life.
remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O virgins of virgins, our mother. To you do we come, before you we stand, sinful and sorrowful, O mother of the word incarnate, Despise not our petitions, but in your mercy, hear and answer them. Amen. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us and have recourse to you. May the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament be praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world, even to the end of time. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, Defend us in battle, be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl around the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Let us pray. Sharing in the saving joy, O Lord, with which St. Matthew welcomed the Savior as a guest in his home, we pray grant that we may always be renewed by the food we receive from Christ, who came to call not the just but sinners to salvation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Thank you. tonight you see into the hearts of each one present here you alone know the needs you know the desires you have said to us come to me come to me all you who labor and are burdened Lord that is the human race we need you. Take away the obstacles, the fear and the doubts. Tonight, as you walk among us, bless each one. Lord, remind all of us that you have not forgotten us. You have not left us behind. Help us tonight to open our hearts so that your grace can flow in.
Lord, how many times, how many times have we looked for peace and consolation in the world? And yet you are here tonight on the altar. Thank you for drawing us here tonight. Thank you for allowing our hearts to be opened just to be here. The discipline, the faith. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Jesus is Lord. My children, open your hearts tonight. Don't ask why, don't ask why. Just open your hearts and let the Lord do the rest. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Lord, open our hearts to you. Praise you, Jesus. If the hearts are not open, if the hearts are not open, how can someone enter if the heart is not open? Lord, open our hearts to you. Open them to your grace. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Pour down your Holy Spirit upon us tonight. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus.
Come, Holy Spirit. Set us free. 
from heaven, having with it all sweetness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you have given us the Eucharist as a memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, our most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and in his saints. May the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament be praised, adored and loved with grateful affection at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world, even to the end of time. Amen. Because, as I said tonight, the world has us computerized. We don't even know it. These ads that cost billions of dollars, and we don't even know that we're being hypnotized by them. But the world will not tell you about a night like tonight. It will not tell you about the Eucharist. 
we as Catholics are very privileged, but we don't know it. There is no other. That's Our Lady's message for 2,000 years. She's not pointing to herself. She's pointing to her son. And you leave here tonight, and you won't be disappointed that you came. Go with the peace. And continue to ask for the grace of coming to know the Lord in the Eucharist deeper and deeper. This is the whole, we say, the Eucharist is the summit of our faith. But we're hypnotized to look somewhere else. Is there somewhere else I can go instead? Is there something else I can do to get the peace? The world will tell you yes, but you'll go around in a circle. So we pray for that gift of coming to know Jesus in the Eucharist deeper and deeper. Amen? Amen. Amen. Next week, we're in St. Anne's Shrine in Fall River, the 28th of September. And we're actually back here on the 5th of October, two weeks' time, because of the schedule. The Healing Mass here will be in two weeks' time, the 5th of October. God bless you.